The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Micah. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, the least of the clans of Judah, from you will come for me a future ruler of Israel, whose origins go back to the distant past, to the days of old. Hence Yahweh will abandon them only until she who is in labor gives birth. And then those who survive of his race will be reunited to the Israelites. He will take his stand and he will shepherd them with the power of Yahweh, with the majesty of the name of his God. And they will be secure for his greatness will extend henceforth to the most distant parts of the country. He himself will be peace. Should the Assyrian invade our country, should he set foot in our land, we shall raise seven shepherds against him, eight leaders of men. And our response from Psalm 13. But I trust in your mercy. Grant my heart joy in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt bountifully with me. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. The role of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham fathered Isaac, Isaac fathered Jacob, Jacob fathered Judah and his brothers. Judah fathered Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez fathered Hezron, Hezron fathered Ram, Ram fathered Aminadab, Aminadab fathered Nashon, Nashon fathered Salmon. Salmon fathered Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz fathered Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed fathered Jesse, and Jesse fathered King David. David fathered Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Solomon fathered Rehoboam, Rehoboam fathered Abijah, Abijah fathered Asa. Asa fathered Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat fathered Joram. Joram fathered Uzziah. Uzziah fathered Jotham. Jotham fathered Ahaz. Ahaz fathered Hezekiah. Hezekiah fathered Manasseh. Manasseh fathered Amon. Amon fathered Josiah. And Josiah fathered Jeconiah and his brothers. And then the deportation to Babylon took place. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah fathered Shealtiel. Shealtiel fathered Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel fathered Abiud. Abiud fathered Eliakim. Eliakim fathered Azor. Azor fathered Zadok. Zadok fathered Achim. Achim fathered Eliud. Eliud fathered Eleazar. Eleazar fathered Mathan. Mathan fathered Jacob. And Jacob fathered Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who was called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being an upright man and wanting to spare her disgrace, decided to divorce her informally. He made up his mind to do this when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you must name him Jesus because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. Now all of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. Look, the virgin is with child and will give birth to a son whom they will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. Our 